Hillary lacked the one thing the academic left seems to love about Warren. She's an academic, too, you know, like Obama. What do I mean by that? She's untethered to reality in her thinking. You see, academics spend their careers writing papers, reading papers, reviewing papers for peer review, hoping to get good reviews from their peers. It goes round and round and round. Now, yes, she was a Harvard Law School professor, but how much time did she really spend in a court? Actually, very little. Because to academics and the progressives who love them, experience is overrated. Don't believe me? Check out her reaction when she got owned by a farmer with real life and real work experience on what the Green New Deal would do to American farms. You know, the Green New Deal says we need to get rid of cows. Yeah. I don't agree with that because yeah. well-managed grassland where you rotationally graze, uh -huh. you know, all these paddocks uh -huh. like that system there has about eight different paddocks. Uh -huh. You're actually going to use more CO2 and sequester more carbon because of the regrowth all the time. Uh -huh. And yet, you know, that's a permanent pasture. So anyway, my point is we have become so ignorant of the basic principles of biolo biology in food production that we have said we answer them all through technology instead of letting Mother Earth mm -hmm. and having respect. She has no idea what this guy is talking about. So let me test your attention span just a little bit. We're going to do a little history. But if you stick with me, you're really going to like this. All right, so let's go to Ballotpedia. Let's get a little history on Elizabeth Warren. Quote, she earned her JD from Rutgers Law School. Warren taught at the University of Texas, University of Michigan, University of Pennsylvania, and Harvard University. Warren also authored 11 books about the economy, the middle class, and personal finance in the mid-1990s. Warren served on the National Bankruptcy Re Review Commission in 1996. She changed her affiliation from Republican to Democratic. So not only does this woman have barely any experience in the real world of banking or anything real world oriented at all, she's also the epitome of liberal indoctrination in academia, hence her switch from Republican to Democrat because Republicans would never accept her. And even if we jump forward 10 years later, still not a single day spent out in the real world of money other than Barack Obama putting her in charge of creating the Consumer Financial Protection Board Again, with no experience, which only further proves how much liberals love experience lacking academics. I mean, again, can you believe she wrote books about a subject she has no experience with? So here's the argument. Elizabeth Warren is nothing more than an overeducated, useless pseudo-intellectual, and that makes her authentic to progressives who do not care about the real world or how it works or whether or not she has experience in anything. Academic progressives really believe they can change the real world into the world of their dreams. She doesn't have a single day of real world experience doing anything, but who cares? Because socialism attracts people like her and her ilk, because socialism puts incapable people in charge of productive people through government. Socialism is the intersection of the incompetent and the incapable. The left loves someone, loves the idea of someone with no actual experience running the whole show. Warren and her tribe, see what I did there, right? Really believe that government can breed out of the individual their own rational self-interest that they can mold a society where no one wants anything for themselves. They yearn for a society where the most productive people submit themselves to the will of the least productive. Oh, and that she can concoct this giant system of taxing and redistribution without ever raising taxes on the so-called middle class. Or at least that's what she implied when she dodged this question. Take a look. You didn't answer the question about the middle class tax hike on your health care plan. Sure I did. Endorsed? I talked about how we're paying for a, health care in there, America. But will there be a tax hike on the middle what class? Matters, that was the question. What matters is how people pay and how much they're paying. Middle class families are going to pay less. No, no, see, you know, those evil rich people, they're not going to stick around to be taxed. The truth is she's going to have rate to raise taxes on everyone. 
if she has any intention of carrying out her socialist policies. Now look at this headline from Investors Business Daily. Headline, Senator Warren reveals Democrat socialist hidden agenda. Quote, Senator Elizabeth Warren, the Massachusetts Democrat, made this quite clear on Wednesday when she introduced the Accountable Capitalism Act. Now, a more accurate name would have been the first step to overthrowing Capitalism Act because a long-term objective of the Democratic Socialists of America is crushing capitalism. They want an economy that isn't free and open, but subject to their boot on its throat, unquote. So here we have a woman rising in the polls who had to fake her background to get where she was going because she couldn't get there on her own merits. And now she wants a system that she promises will not raise middle class taxes that transfers ever more the fruits of your labor and ultimate power to the government. She wants a system where the most incapable people are put in charge of everything they otherwise wouldn't be trusted to run. In other words, a world where losers win and in the end, that will not bode well for the American people. So I end with this. How is she so high up in the polls?